Hi, I'm here with uh, Jason Waddell from Queensland. Yes. Who's uh, currently doing a PhD in changing practice for pharmacies, uh, pharmacists, sorry. And uh, he's presenting two posters, but he's going to talk to about one today. Uh, yeah. Tell us some of the background. Uh, so I started my PhD at the beginning of the year. Um, and we're looking at a cohort of pharmacists in Queensland who are implementing prescribing models of care. Um, and we're using that as sort of a surrogate marker for a change in practice. And what we want to look at is we want to look at the um, characteristics, so you know, personality types and leadership abilities um, of these pharmacists who are undergoing this practice change to sort of inform the debate about what it takes to change practice. Um, the world is facing a shortage of healthcare workers, um, and that's not just in third world countries, that's in Australia as well. Um, so to, to meet the future demands of the health system with an aging population and a retiring workforce, um, we really need um, practitioners who are able to go out there and um, implement new models of care and change practice to meet this demand. Right, uh, and is this something that takes place in your, your workplace? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I'm also a pharmacist within um, Logan Hospital, mm -hmm. part of Metro South Health in Queensland Health. And um, we're, a we're a department that's very proactive in, in sort of looking at where we can make a difference in, in our practice. Um, but I think as the profession moves forward and we start to look at these um, new models of care that are coming, um, I think we really need to think about the people who are implementing them because they really need skills and abilities to uh, implement complex change, often across organisational barriers, professional barriers, um, you know, very sensitively and, um, and effectively. Cool. Um, do you want to give a shout out to some of the people who've contributed on the poster as well? Uh, so yeah, big shout out to uh, Professor Lisa Nissen. Um, she's my primary supervisor. Um, I've known Lisa since um, I was an undergraduate student in, uh, at the University of Queensland. And um, it's really great to have her as my supervisor now at the Queensland University of Technology. And a shout out to Dr. Andrew Hale as well. Um, he's a pharmacist uh, as well within Queensland Health. Um, he's really been a great support um, in that he's finished his PhD recently. So um, he provides me with encouragement that, you know, the journey is worth it in the end. Excellent. Uh, and anything on the program that you have to see uh, in the next couple of days? Well, um, Dr. Ross Stuckey, um, he is talking about pharmacist personality types, mm -hmm. which um, I guess is forming part of my PhD. So we're pretty ex I'm pretty excited to um, hear what he has to say about that. Terrific. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Thank and you. And enjoy the rest of the program. I will. Terrific. Thank you.